Here is a video of three population ecology questions to help support you on the science GED. Question 1. Above is a graph of an organism that has recently introduced to a new environment at point 1. Which pairings show the correct description of what is happening in the graph above? So on the, on the y-axis, you have the number of organisms, and on the x-axis, you have time. And so you have a line going up, and then it's kind of going up and down. If you look at the answer choices, you have whether or not the population is increasing, decreasing, and then this notion of carrying capacity. Um, and so a lot of the questions that you might see on the GED have to do with carrying capacity of a population in a given um, environment. So let's define carrying capacity real quick. So I have a hidden definition here. Um, carrying capacity is the average population size of an organism in a habitat as a result of available space, mates, food, resources, etc. So what happens in a given environment if you're introducing uh, an organism here, like at point one, and let's say there it's the first time, like let's say you take down a fence and all of a sudden a bunch of deer or elk can get into an environment, there's going to be lots of food for them. There's going to be very little predators there. Um, and so the population is going to be increasing. They're going to they're gonna be able to mate and reproduce and live very happily. But then eventually they will reach a point where they're kind of limited. They're limited on space, they're limited on resources, uh, such as um, food, or maybe now predators have moved in. And so if you look at this, um, if we look at A, it says the population is decreasing at point two. Well, no, it's gonna be, it's increasing, right? And then point three is going to be the carrying capacity. So if you look at C and D, they're saying point two is carrying capacity. Um, that's wrong. And so the answer is going to be B. All right, so just trying to introduce this notion of carrying capacity here. Here's question two. Which of the following is true about an animal that has reached carrying capacity? So... A says competition between the individuals is low. B, competition between individuals is non-existent. C, competition between individuals is high. Uh, or D, there is an excess in resources at carrying capacity. So let's look uh, here. I have another hidden kind of diagram here. We have nearly the same graph. You have the population on the left, on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. And so right here, when the if, it, if you're talking about an introduced species, so a new species, competition's going to be low. Lots of available resources, um, space, food, mates, all of that should be fairly low. Up here, you're going to have high competition during uh, carrying capacity. And so the answer here that you're looking for is going to be C. Okay. Now, let's say um, you have an animal was introduced to an environment at point one in the graph above. So again, same, same graph nearly. What would happen to the carrying capacity of the original animal of this graph if a predator was introduced to the same environment at point three. So again, let's take that example where you have like a fenced in environment. Um, and right here at point one, you take away the fence and elk or deer move into this area, right? And so the elk and deer, man, they've got all sorts of food for them to eat. And, and then all of a sudden predators, maybe it's wolf, maybe it's a, a mountain lion, uh, something comes in and now is going to uh, be eating these deer or these elk, what is going to happen to the carrying capacity of the elk or the deer? Okay, so let's look. A, the carrying capacity of the original animal would increase. Um, B, the carrying capacity of the original would stay the same, so in other words, not affected. 
or C, the carrying capacity of the original animal would decrease. Uh, or D, the predator is not likely to have an effect on the carrying capacity. And so what is likely to happen here is if, if, if a predator is introduced here, they will decrease the animal and it will start, maybe their carrying capacity will be here. Because let's say the wolf or the mountain lion, or they're going to eat the uh, the deer or the elk, and that's going to have put negative pressure on the population of the elk or the original um, organism, as, as it's called here. So the correct answer is C. The carrying capacity of the original animal would decrease. So just uh, a word on these type of questions on the GED. I don't know that you will see these. Um, I just know that test makers tend to like these because it's really about reading graphs. And anytime you can read a graph or a chart, um, it, it tends to be a really good choice for a test maker. So that's why I, I'm putting this out here for all of you GED test makers, test takers, sorry. And um, good luck. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you found it valuable and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like these. Visit the link below to passtheged.org to see more videos and learning opportunities that will help you get the highest passing score on the GED. And good luck.